Hey everyone, welcome back to Serena's Toy Room. It's been a while, I know. I, besides my re-uploads of Teen Titans, I haven't posted like any actual new videos. Um, I've been like, I don't know, burned out I guess. Like I haven't really been inspired to make new videos. I have gotten new dolls since um, my last review, but I just like haven't felt like reviewing them. Like it's a lot of effort to do reviews, especially like OMG reviews and Sometimes I just like want to open a doll without the hassle of like making a video and stuff like that and editing and uploading So um, I hope you understand But um, I thought I would do this one because she is like a relatively new doll and not many people have her and Just like post a new video because I haven't done one in a while Maybe it'll inspire me to upload new videos um, Because I definitely have some ideas for some future ones on the way. I went to the mall. Well, there's like a grocery store attached to the mall. My mom was like getting groceries for like a dinner and stuff tonight and I just like browsed around the mall because they recently opened up in Canada um because they were closed for months. So I just went into EB Games which is like a GameStop kind of store in Canada. Lo and behold they had Moonlight BB from like the new BFFs range. I wish they had Sunshine Girl because she's my favorite of the two but I'll take this one. She's so cute. And I haven't been to like Walmart or anything in a long time, but um, yeah, I haven't seen these like dolls yet. So this is my first time seeing her and I had to get her. She was $40, which is the typical price for like the standard waves of OMG dolls. So she wasn't more expensive than what she would usually be. So I didn't mind paying for it. Here's her artwork, Moonlight BB. LOL Surprise OMG, Outrageous Millennial Girls Collect Both BFFs. 20 Surprises, Unbox Fashions, Package Becomes Playset, I'm a Fashion Doll, Moonlight BB. OMG, we sisters strut fierce style and stand out from the crowd because we're here to surprise the world. There's Sunshine Girl, she's so cute. She's like totally my aesthetic. I really need to have her. She is the cutest. There's Little Sister, Moonlight BB, Starlight, Star Bright, Fierce Stars inspire me tonight. Let's see the reveal. Ta-da! She's so cute. I love me some pastel OMGs, but I also love the more goth ones. She's so cute. I can't wait to get her all dressed up and everything. So let's open up all her accessories and things and we'll get a closer look. Here's Moonlight Baby out of the box. She has pretty unique makeup. Has like dark blue navy liner going like into the crease of her eye or like what would be a crease of an eye. She has heavily blushed cheeks. Very like e-girl inspired, I think. And matching navy indigo lips. Her hair is so cute. It's black with like indigo streaks mixed in. And it is a, goes like to the longest points to like down her back. It's like shorter than like the majority of OMG dolls, but it's so cute. And she has little pigtails on top with some potentials hanging down her face. I would like to wash it later because I don't really like how crunchy it is. Her one-piece outfit is so cute. This is just the under undergarment. It really pulls itself together when you put all the accessories and other clothes on top. But as is, it is like this one piece um, with some like biker shorts attached, some mesh, there's all sorts of straps around her arms. Really cool. It's made of like a stretchy black fabric. She has black nails. Super cute. Her stand is like an indigo kind of color. It has like the new stand that's like a wider base. I don't necessarily care for that because it does take up more space on display, but it is what it is. Um, and she does come with an extra stand clip, um, which I feel like they did for when dolls have more outfit pieces and they get more bulkier around the waist. They can, you can adjust like the stand clips to your liking so they don't fall off as easily, which I like. They don't come with the um, chair attachment anymore, which is fine because I never really use those, truthfully. And of course, the standard OMG brush. Okay, <laughs> okay. the unwrapping session is going to be a little difficult because the setup is different than what it was in the old review station. So like, bear with me if it's like really shaky. But first we're going to open up her BB Boutique bag. And we have this, which is like the same mold as Alt Girl, 
but instead of just being like a regular bag, it's meant to look like a book, which is fun. It says scary stories. I like that. So I like when they do like um, remolds of accessories and stuff. They like do different paint details to to the point where they look like completely different pieces. Like this, for example. That's a lot of fun. And they do open, of course. Her first garment bag, which is this black and white one. We have her, I don't know what you call these. They're like sleeves, basically. It's like a, yeah, sleeves and like a belt. We will get a closer up look when it's on her. It looks so well made though already. I love it. I haven't opened up an OMG doll in a long time. Before I forget, I want to take a look at her magazine or her BFF journal, excuse me. Really cute. She is a cancer. The stars keep on sparkling even the even on the darkest night. Her next summer bag. We have her skirt train which is attached to a corset. Super adorable. It matches the other piece really well. Her hat box. The black and white stripes remind me of Chillax because she had earrings like that. We have her hat, I think this is. Yes. Her artwork doesn't include the hat, but she has a little hat. It's like very like witchy. It's not it being out of focus. There. Yeah, it kind of like matches her outfit. It's really cute. And we have another stand piece. Her Peter Pan collar necklace. And the earrings and such. I like how it's like a duochrome almost. It's like black and green, depending on like how you shift it. And her glasses, which are like the same mold as Busy Baby, I believe. Last but not least, her size six and a half creepers, and the barcode says Starshine Lover. And we have, oh, they're so cute. We have like flocking on them, sort of like cute fuzzy. I didn't know she had these. Add that little detail, it's so cute. Reminds me of like Winter Disco or something. It's so cute. Like again, we've seen this mold like a couple of times by now, but the flocking details just like makes it its own. I really like that. All right, we're gonna dress up Moonlight BB and get a closer look, be right back. Here is Moonlight BB. She's wearing her glasses, which are in the light, they're kind of like, have like a sheen to them, but like in regular light, you can't really notice. They're in this like, um, bluish gray tone. I prefer her without them though, but I just wanted to show you what they look like. She has um, same earring as Alt BB, where it's like meant to look like numerous rings, but it only like plugs into the one. And I believe Shadow has this earring. It's a safety pin. Her outfit is so adorable. I love it. It was um, a bit challenging to put the this part on. It's like um, faux leather suspenders attached to a belt. Like you actually had to like loop it through the belt loop. It's not like Velcro or anything. But she does have this, like I said, it's just like sleeves. So it goes over top her inbox outfit. And it's like a dark blue shimmery fabric with some black lace over top. And it's a belt sleeve. It's so pretty and so like gothic and romantic looking. And the lace is like so detailed and nice looking. I love it. Her Peter Pan choker necklace. Her skirt. It's very like witchy. And I like how it ruffles. It's very like gothic, but like old fashioned gothic, like Victorian almost. It's so pretty. And the design goes all the way around, which I can't say for a lot of doll lines. And you can see her shorts underneath. Her bag which looks really cute with her outfit. I love the fact that it's like meant to be a book. I think it's super adorable. She does have her hat, which is meant to go on, but because of her pigtails, especially because they're gel, it doesn't really sit on her head so well. But honestly, that's fine because 
I prefer her without it. That's probably why the box there doesn't include it. I haven't seen like too many pictures with her wearing the hat actually and I actually forgot she even came with it. It's a cute accessory, I just don't think I'll use it on her. And lastly her shoes, which I love that they're like fluffed. Alrighty everyone, that is my review on Moonlight BB, the new OMG doll, and I can't wait to get Sunshine Girl, she is the cutest. Until next time, come re-subscribe, tell me what you think of her, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!